welcome to Tools and Trails. I bet you can't guess what day it is. That's right, Saturday. <laughs> but I almost dress like this on Saturday, don't you? No, <laughs> just kidding. Yep, that's right, it's Halloween. So Jim's Jeep Club and uh, all of us are headed out for a Halloween run. Heading out to some spooky abandoned cabins just north of uh, Lake Pleasant out here in Phoenix. So uh, it'll be a short run today. We don't have too many people. I think we've got eight Jeeps or eight rigs, eight or nine, something like that. So it should be a good day and uh, welcome along for the ride. Hope you enjoy it. First stop of the day was a little place down in the bottom of Humbug Creek called China Dam. Now China Dam was built in the late 1800s and was used for mining in the area on up Humbug Creek. There's a gold camp up there. Now the dam has long since been ruined, doesn't hold any water anymore, largely filled up with silt, but still has a little bit of water usually hanging around and pretty cool little place to see. Now shortly after we left the China Dam, we came upon our first obstacle of the day. As you climb out on the east side of Humbug Creek here, just past the dam, you come across this uh, precarious kind of shelf road that leads up the side of the mountain. Now it's all rock, it's pretty solid, but it dips the wrong way and there's some pretty good ledges that you got to make sure you get over. And Then once you get to the top, you got to turn, a, make a hard left all the way you're kind of tipping to the right so just a little bit unsettling but everybody made it just fine.
course with Count Spatula out there guiding people up the ledge. What could possibly go wrong, right? Our next stop along the trip was an old abandoned cabin 
back up in what's now called the Tule Creek Riparian Management Area. Now this little cabin was here for a long time and was the residence of a Mr. Johnson who had some claims back in the area. Did quite a bit of mining. There's a mine that's just northeast of the cabin that he likely worked quite a bit. And he occupied this cabin, or someone did anyway, up until the early 90s when the Lake Pleasant Planning Committee determined that the cabin was going to be within the flood area and he was forced to leave. So it's been set vacant for about 20 years or so, but it's pretty good shape still. There's a few areas that have started to collapse, but some interesting uh, construction methods there to save on some concrete. Filled the walls with some cans full of dirt just to fill up the void and then poured concrete around them. Those are starting to come apart, so you can see that somewhere around the house, although we didn't see it, was a small grave marked Pooch. That was dated back in the uh, 1928 to 38 range. Uh, so somebody was back there in the early 1900s working that area, likely a Mr. Johnson of some sort. So pretty cool place. found was some old redneck vampire hanging out in there taking a nap so he had to be dealt with. From this point we headed back down the trail that we had came in on and then we headed up just a little bit to the northwest of where we were, trying to get down to a cabin that I'd been to in the past that was a little further up Humbug Creek. and weren't sure if we could get there. It had been quite a few years since I'd been down in that area, and it was pretty rough then, so we'll see what we can get to. Well, we were successful in finding a way down into the uh, other cabin that I was looking for, although not by way of my original route. That was washed out. But once you get down there, it's a pretty cool place. There's about three or four different buildings down there that are all still in fairly good shape. Somebody even brought their van down. An old dump truck left over from the mining days. Old Dodge pickup truck that's been shot full of holes. But other than that, it's pretty cool. And I think somebody comes and goes from this place we find some remnants of some canned food and things like that and everything always seems to be a little different every time i've been there so this one i think still gets a little bit of activity three-seater one two and the French version out in the open. Three.
about just like coming up out of China Dam. This was one of the more tougher obstacles, you could say, of the day. The climb up the west bank out of Humbug Creek, just out by the cabin there. Going down was the easy part. Coming back up, this was a little rougher and longer than the other one. So, But again, we all made it up out of here, so all's good. This was just an in and out trip today and not a loop so we were headed back out on the same trail that we came in on which is kind of fun because off in the distance there you can always catch glimpses of Lake Pleasant so the views looking down south out towards Phoenix are always pretty nice from this vantage point. Well, since it was Halloween, you know, one of the themes for this run was to either decorate your Jeep and or yourself. And so we all had a, fun, a lot of fun with that and uh, had some good ideas, kind of some, just had some fun with the day. So, you know, these trips are always about just having a good time, just getting out and enjoying some good friends, some good trails and things like that. And of course, 
you know, some of the good scenery never hurts either, so there's always that. Well, we're headed back from our Halloween run with Jim's Jeep Club. Had a pretty good day. Visited uh, two different uh, abandoned cabins. And uh, one of them was the, the Thule Riparian uh, Reserve, I guess it is. It's a cabin and a mine uh, back in off of, I believe it's off of Cow Creek, just north of Lake Pleasant. Uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, pretty old cabin. I don't know, probably was used into maybe the 50s and 60s. Um, the second one we went to was in off of Humbug Creek, down off of that drainage. That one's a little tougher to get to, um, but we got down into it. There's just about four different buildings down there, uh, a couple old trucks, uh, that sort of thing. Kind of a spring next to it. Uh, pretty cool place. That one, uh, that one, people come and go from there a bit. There's remnants of people being there and kind of camped out there. Canned food, uh, sleeping bags, and that kind of stuff. So, you know, who knows? But it was a great run down through there. You drop down into a pretty tight wash to get into that one, which makes it a little more challenging. The way I used to go in there was washed out. We couldn't get in that way, so we had to go around. But uh, had a great group today. I think we had 11 Jeeps or so, or rigs, I should say. We were a pretty diverse group we had. Uh, there was three of the XJs, three Cherokees. That was pretty awesome. Uh, I think there was four Jeep Wranglers with us. We had two Razors. Uh, we had an old International Scout. First trip with them, that was pretty cool. Nice old rig uh, and some new members to the group, so that was awesome. Uh, and we had a couple join us just saw us in the parking lot and said, hey, can we tag along? And we said, sure. So there was a, they had a Toyota Tacoma, did great. And uh, so, yeah, it was, it was cool to meet some new people. I think that's one of the funnest things about what we do is uh, meet the new, new folks and, and uh, run into different people out and having a good time. So hope you had enjoyed the uh, trip today. Uh, make sure you hit the like and subscribe at the bottom there. And uh, thanks for joining us on Tools and Trails.